Hi, my name is Marks and I'm a singer songwriter. This has been a really, really difficult time for everybody, um, certainly in the creative industries and anybody in hospitality who've been hit probably a lot harder than everybody else. So I wanted to share with you a few things that have worked for me, a few little hints and tips along the way of things that have kept me sane during a global pandemic. So I've broken this guide down into five areas and for each area I'll expand on a few little hints and tips along the way of things that have kept me sane. So firstly, focus. Give yourself something to divert your attention toward that is not reading the news every day. There might be things that you've always wanted to do that have never found the time to do. So here you go. So the first thing is to get all of these thoughts that are currently mulling around here, driving you crazy. You should really put some birds or something flying around my head. Get your ideas out of your head and the best way I find to do that is to do a brainstorm or, as I should say, politically correctly, a thought shower. So get some pens, paper, um, post-it notes, get all of the ideas of things that you want to do that you've never had time to do out and onto paper and have a look at them. Create a vision board. So go online, find yourself pictures of places that you want to go things that are related to your goal. If you want to learn a language, put the flag on there. Get as creative as you want and make yourself something to stare at every day. And then what that will do is that will keep you, your spirits high, keep you focused and give you something to divert your energy towards. So the next thing to do is to sort of break it down into manageable steps. So why not set yourself some goals of the SMART format? If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link in the comments. Make yourself a plan and if that means just doing five things a day, even if one of them is sending an email, it's just something to work towards that will just keep you focused. Focused. So escape. This is my favourite. I don't mean get on the next plane out of here because you probably can't anyway. If your four walls and that's your brain or where you live is bringing you down, get out, get moving. Um, think about things like exercise or go for a walk, go for a run. All that movement will get some endorphins running around your brain that will help you sleep better. Anyone else had all those crazy COVID dreams? Just me, probably. So switch off finding something that helps you escape from life, whether that's TV, a film, reading a book, playing a computer game, uh, something that will take you out of the reality that you're in at the moment. And you can do that without even leaving the house. Find yourself something that you can cultivate, whether it's like growing some plants, whether it's taking your dog out for a walk, whether it's looking after yourself. Like just find something to nurture. What it does is it just stills your brain. So things like weeding a garden or just planting some seeds. It's just such a good way of numbing all of this stuff going around that's driving you mad. So the next part is all about balance. And no, I'm not talking about tightrope. I'm talking about splitting your activities so that you're not just constantly on your phone looking at stuff. So 50% passive, 50% active. Um, have a look at spreading your time out so that you've got a bit of diversity so you don't go mad. So listen to your body. If you're tired, why don't you rest? If you're hungry, eat. If you need to get running, run. Your body and mind will tell you if something's wrong. And that's a really good opportunity to sort of get back, reset, get yourself back to who you are. And it's all a balance. It's a balancing act. I can't even profess that I've got there yet. So gain perspective. We are in the midst of a global pandemic right? Nobody knows what they're doing. It's okay to go off the rails. It's okay to not know what the hell you're doing. It's okay to not do anything and be, you don't have to be productive. You can just breathe in, out. That's as simple as that. Take back control. You've had your liberties taken away from you. You've had your routine taken away from you. Why don't you make your own routine? So make a routine. It might be as simple as just one hour of reading a book. It might be go for a run for 10 minutes. Just diversify your day a bit. 
you know even if you just have certain meal times and stick to that that's some control you've got some control back so you've made a routine why not break it you're in control so boundaries are really really important and in terms of professionally sometimes you just need to switch your phone off sometimes you just can't be there for your friends you just need to sometimes have some boundaries so what if you were just to say to people please don't call me between 6 and 8 p.m i just need to rest it shouldn't be difficult just to say to someone i don't want to talk about covid19 it's just tell people that you don't want to talk the boundaries could be with friends family work i mean work boundaries are the best that's my favorite limit the news you're not going to want to read about every single eventuality or things that you can't control why would you want to spend your whole day your precious day or precious life obsessing over things you can't control therefore you need to be in the know you need to be informed but why not just limit it to one hour a day that's all one hour you get to know what you need to know. You don't have to obsess over it. One hour. Just one hour. Okay, so you can't go on holiday, but you can take a vacation. And this is for my little American friends out there. And the best kind of vacation is a social media vacation. Why not just come off these things for a few days? You don't need to see what everybody else is up to. They don't need to see what you're up to. They don't want to see your lockdown throw and your 88 day growth on your face. Let's just turn it off for a bit. You'll feel better for it. Okay, bear with me. This one's a bit of a crazy hippie one. But the clockless day. So imagine just turning off the clocks just for a day. What would you do? Well, you'd get up when you were ready to get up, right? If you needed to lie in, you'd lie in. If you're hungry, eat. But... Time is this concept that's been created by humans and it doesn't exist. Therefore, if like me, you can't get to your normal workplace and you can't do all of these things, why not just take time out of it? So remember your human, really important. So you have to let go of the things that you can't control. So, you know, for us musicians, we can't go out and do the gigs that we want to do. It's okay to just sort of go crazy sometimes and scream and cry and have your every week where you go mental. The thing is, everybody's trying their best. And okay, they haven't mastered social distancing for sure. What if everybody was just doing their best? Shouldn't we just try and be a little bit kinder? That could be something so simple as just checking in with your neighbour. It could be being extra especially nice to the people in the supermarket could be not wanting to throw things at kids but everybody's doing their best so just be human make a nest so let's say it's all getting a bit overwhelming there's nothing wrong with just getting blankets getting your fat pants on getting some nice food and finding somewhere really really cozy and making yourself a nest what's wrong with that you find yourself somewhere that you can hide you turn your phone off i love nothing more than just getting on my comfies and finding somewhere to hide making myself a little fort just embrace your inner child find yourself a little nest make yourself comfy and ride out the storm especially if you're having a bad mental health day so the last point is probably the hardest part and that's learning to face the silence it brings lots of things to light. Sometimes things that you maybe have been putting off or maybe you just haven't had time to deal with. But with this time, allow some quiet, allow some time for reflection. Don't make yourself so busy that you don't think about all of these things. Sometimes in periods of stillness, you can actually find the perspective that you need when you get out the other end. This is a time to reflect and you'll be forced to see things that maybe you've been putting off. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. If you've enjoyed the content, please subscribe in the box over here. If I've missed anything or you've got any ideas, um, do let me know in the comments and I'll be back soon with some more end talk.